We have got an amazing show of some of my very favorite funny ladies here tonight. Coming to the stage right now is one of my favorite performers. We've worked together all around Boston and the South Shore. She is hilarious. You will love her. Please help me welcome to the stage, Mary Ellen Rinaldi. Hello, New Bedford. What a week. What a week. I just celebrated my 40th birthday. Thank you. Yes. It was 10 years ago. I'm 50. I'm ready to accept 40. I don't even know how 50 got here. Last week I was 21. Remember 21? Oh, 21. 21 out of the house. On the pill. Hot body, long hair, looking good. Then I turned 30. 30. Living back home. I don't need the pill. I got my mother. She's the pill. And 40, all 40, need a new pill because I'm married, need one that makes me like him. <laughs> That's the one the doctor gives you. <laughs> Not getting along at home, oh, we'll fix that right up. <laughs> of course, he's the one that should be taking the pill, but that's a whole other story. There's nothing wrong with him. He's happy. Then 50 shows up. There's no pill. It's just hot flashes. I have ripped my shirt off so many times. The only place I can have dinner now is Hooters. Oh, yeah. Oh, and let me tell you, there's nothing attractive about 50 gone wild. Nobody wants to see that show. I'm like, I'm hot, I'm hot, I'm cold, I'm cold. I'm going to kill somebody. My husband goes, what's wrong with you? Nothing. Oh, and then I go to the doctor. Oh, I love the doctor, because every time I'm at the doctor, we have the same conversation. Mary, every time I see you, you are getting heavier and heavier. <laughs> what do you think we should do about it? I go, we should stop seeing each other. making me gain weight. I have discovered the cause. She goes, oh, you should do aerobic exercise. I go, I don't like to exercise. No, my idea of exercise is I get in the tub. I fill it up with water. I unplug it and fight the current. Yeah. It's clean, it's healthy, I can do it two, three times a day. <laughs> she 
She goes, well, try walking. I says, I go to the mall. I love the mall. Do you love the mall? I love the mall. And you know what I learned? After I got married, I learned married women shop different from single women. Oh, yeah, when I was single, oh, I would be at the mall. <laughs> Breathe the mall air, love the mall, buy a pair of shoes in two colors, who cares? Buy clothes too small, put them in the closet, say, I'm going to fit into it. Then I got married. I came home from my honeymoon. My husband said, don't spend another dime. Then I realized he never said a word about writing checks or charging. Oh, yeah. For a single woman, the, married, the mall is like a spa. For a married woman, it's a covert operation. You got to get in and out before he even knows you're there. And you can pick out the married women at the mall all the time. You always can pick them out because they're dressed in their gym clothes. Because that's where their husbands think they are. I'm at the mall going, yep, you bet. I don't want to lie to him. That would be wrong. My husband's Italian. Now, I'm not talking Italian from, like, North Providence, Rhode Island. No, no, I'm talking from Italy. Yes. You think North Providence is obnoxious? Try importing them. <laughs> he thinks I should spend all day cleaning the house in high heels and a push-up bra. I hate to clean the house. When we first got married, we had so many fights about cleaning the house. I mean, that was like our first year of arguments all the time. And then I discovered that whenever my husband and I get into a fight and he got mad, he cleaned the house. <laughs> so every Friday night, I piss him off. Oh, yeah, I start thinking on Monday. Oh, let's see. What will get him? God. You guys are such a wonderful audience. Thank you. Because you never know. You never know. It's like a holiday with the family. You don't know how it's going to turn out. <laughs> you hope for the best. Then your mother shows up and starts chattering away, stirring the shit. Walking away and go, I don't know why you girls don't get along. Because we have you for a mother. <laughs> I didn't have a modern mother. You know the modern mothers? I love the modern mothers. They reason with their children. <laughs> Did you ever go to the mall and see the modern mother? Joshua's freaking out at the food court. And the modern mother goes, Joshua. Joshua, honey, she knows she'll get that eye contact. <laughs> Mommy is getting upset. <laughs> Joshua, Mommy talked about options. <laughs> My mother had eight kids in ten years. There was only one option. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't have a mall mom, I had a Kmart mom. Yeah. If my mother was a mother...